Hi everyone. Today's lecture is going to be really, really, really interesting because I'm going to talk about Oracle Rack Environment Networky part. So we have seen that many times the people are getting confused about the Oracle Rack Environment and specific to the Oracle Rack Environment Network part. So I'll be telling you that what are all different type of networks you need to configure if you want to use the Oracle Rack Environment. What are all the different type of IPs you require if you want to configure the Oracle Rack Environment. So this will be for 2 node rack or 3 node rack or 5 node rack. To make you understand about the networking, I will take 2 node rack setup. So let's take an example that this is my node 1 and this is my node 2. So I'm considering that this is my node 1 and this is my node 2. Okay. Now whenever you configure a node, whenever you configure a node, here my instance 1 will be up and running, here my instance 2 will be up and running and this is a place where my database related files will be stored like my SP file, control files, data files and this place we called it as a shared storage. So it can be your ASM, ASM which is automatic storage management. And this is my database actually, which is getting connected from here and here also because this is a shared storage area. Now let's come back to the networking part. As soon as you are going to configure a node, you are going to assign an IP address. We called it as a public IP address. So every node will have a public IP address. I'm going to assign a public IP address like 192.168. 56.71 so i'm considering that this is my first public ip address here also on node 2 i'm going to assign my ip address so there will be one more ip address 192 156.72 so here it is 71 and here it is 72 on node 2 that is public ip address now what about the private ip address First of all, why we need public IP address? Now, if you want to access the database outside your domain, you need public IP address. But this instance, they will communicate to each other also, right? The, both the instance will communicate to each other. They will share the data with each other. This is possible with the help of private IP address. So to this, I'm going to assign private IP address. Let me assign the private IP address like 192. 168 56 dot sorry it should not be 56 this should be 192 168 10 dot okay let me okay here both the instance will communicate to each other with the help of private network now what i will do i am going to assign I am going to assign private, I am going to assign private IP address to the machine. But for that, I will just change the color so that you will understand it. So the private IP address will be here is, let me show. So for this node, I, I'm going to assign the private IP address as, it should be 192.168. 10 dot it should be 192 168 10.1 this is 10.1 and here for this instance i am going to assign 192 168 10.2 remember that this is a private ip address of node 2 every node will have public ip address every node will have private ip address so we talked about two addresses till now private and public private network is mainly useful when they want to communicate to each other they want to share the information with each other internally so this network will not be accessible outside which network private but the public ips will be accessible outside the network also apart from this so we discuss about two private and public Apart from this, there is 
one more IP address will be there, we called it as a VIP address. Which address? VIP address. So VIP address will be like, let me draw the VIP address here. 192.168.56.81 VIP. Here, 192.168.56.81. 56.82.82. So you can see here that this VIP is also a public only. And this VIP is also public because the range, you need to understand the range, guys. What is the range? For public, I use the range like 192.168.56. But for I for private, I have used 192.168.10. I have used 10 dot. The range is getting changed. For VIP also, we are using the public range only. Public range only we are using. Next. So what is the use of this VIP? VIP is like a virtual IP as everyone know. If this node goes down by any chance, the VIP address will be shipping from here to here. The VIP will be going to the survival node. This is the importance of VIP address. It will not ask you to wait till TCP timeout. The fourth one IP address which is very important in networking, we called it as a scan IP. Scan IP. Scan IP also will be in the range of your public IP only. So VIP address will be also in public. Scan IPs will be also in public range. And your public IP is already there in the public range only. What is the use of scan? Now when users are trying to connect from the outside world, when the remote connections are coming to the database, we need to, that connection will be established with the help of scan IPs only. So normally three scan IPs, three scan IPs are more than enough to take n number of connection to the Oracle rack environment. Three scan IPs are more than enough to take n number of connections in the oracle rack environment so till now what are all ips we have discussed we discuss about the public ip address we discuss about the private ip address then third one will be vip and fourth one will be scan ips there will be three scan okay it will be three scan and every node will have one public private one vip and three scans will be there so three scans is shared in between your node 1 and node 2. Okay. So that's how the things are working. One more thing I want to tell you. This scan will have a three IPs. But their name will be a single scan. Single name will be there. Single name will be there for your three scan IPs. So I want to tell you much more information about the networking part, but again, it's very difficult to cover up everything into the single video. So what I will do, I'll try to make this video practically also, maybe in the next video. But for that, you just need to subscribe to this channel, like it. And one more thing is that we have created this video based on the suggestions, based on the comments provided by the users only. So please put a comment. Let us know what you need. We will definitely create a video on this. Again, if you want to know more about the Oracle Rack environment, Oracle DBA or any other technology, you can reach out to the LearnOmet team. We do provide a lot of, lot of free content on YouTube channel. Also, we have paid training. You can contact to the number which is available over the screen. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel. Again, we have offline classes available in the Pune location. Multiple locations are there. If you have any question, queries, do not hesitate to give a missed call to us. Bye-bye.